Hi guys, welcome back to 375 Dance Studio. My name is Amanda and today we are going to be talking about jive, kicks and flicks. A kick has a single knee action and a flick has a double knee action. So as we go along, you'll understand it more once we learn. By the way, if you guys haven't done so yet, please subscribe like this video and comment below if you would like to see this channel grow. Okay, now we are gonna get into the flicks. Like I said before, it is a double knee action. So we're gonna just start with our moving leg. We're gonna not worry about the standing leg just for now. So the moving leg is going to go knee up, yeah? And my toe connects to my knee up, and then it comes down towards the ground, straighten my leg, up, and then feet together. And then I switch, up, and then it goes down, up, and together. And again, up, and I make sure that I go down and not out. I go down, up, and together. And as you see, there is a double knee action. The knee comes up, then it goes up again, feet together. Up, that's one, two, together. Our standing leg, when we go down, we will be bending the knee. When we go up, we will be straightening that knee. So, let's start with our right foot. Because we are going up, that leg will stay straight. Now when I go down, I will bend the standing knee. I will go up, straighten that knee, and now when I bring my feet together and I go down, bending my knees, and again, up and down and straighten and bend. Straighten and bend and straighten and bend. Straighten and bend and straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. And straighten and bend and straighten and bend. Okay, so we just talked about the standing leg and the moving leg. We also have an action that happens in our feet. So there are two ways that are being taught that you can slip the foot as you straighten the knee, or you can, as you straighten the knee, you go up, on the toe, so you will have an ankle rise. We can start with the slip, and then I'll change to going up on the toe. So, when I go up, when I bring this knee up and straighten this, uh, left knee straightens, right knee comes up, I'm going to slip my left foot back, slightly. So, up, down, and again, up, feet together. And now other side, right leg is going to straighten and slip back. Up, down, up, down, slip, down, slip, down, slip, down, slip, down, slip, down, slip, down. So that is with the slip. Let's talk about where we go up on our toes and ankle rise. So, almost the same concept that when I go up and I straighten that knee, I go up onto the toe. When I go down, I put that heel down. And again, when that knee comes back up again, I go up on the toe and then down. Up and down and up and down. Up down, up, 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 down. I typically like for myself to go up on that toe instead of slipping, just because when I wear the heel, I feel restricted in my heel to slip the foot. So that's why I choose to use the ankle more. So you try both and see what you feel most comfortable with. So now we are gonna talk about a kick. A kick, like I said previously, is a 
single knee action. Typically, we have something called a kickball change. So I'm gonna be demonstrating that step. Let's just talk about the moving foot first. A kick will go up, it will go down, and then from here, you have a ball of the foot, and then changing the weight to the other foot, okay? And one more time, it goes up, down, it does not come back up again, and then you'll have a ball of the foot, and then you'll change to the other foot. Yes, we'll do it to the other side. Turn around. Left foot, it goes up, we kick down, and then from here, that foot will go ball, and then change to the other foot. And again, up and down, and ball, change. Okay, so now let's talk about what the standing leg does. So if I'm kicking with my right, my leg comes up, my leg stays straight. When I kick down, it stays straight, and then from here, I have ball, and now when I change, I go down, bend to straight. And again, kick, stay straight, so it comes up, it stays straight, goes out, it stays straight, then you have a ball, and on the change, it goes from bend to straight. Okay, let's do it to the other side. Left foot, it comes up, stays straight, right foot stays straight, left foot kicks out, right foot stays straight, ball, and from here, when we change the weight, the right knee is gonna go bend straight. And again, up, stay straight, kick, stay straight, ball, and bend to straight. And again, up, stay straight, kick, stay straight, ball, and bend to straight. Okay guys, we are going to go into the feet. So, when I rise up, I will go up on my toe. Now, from here, since I am keeping that standing leg straight, when my foot goes down, my heel is going to also lower lightly touch the floor and come right back up. So there's a little rebound moment in there. Yeah, I like to call it kissing the floor. Anything you wanna call it, but just that feeling of lightly touching the floor, lightly touching the floor, rebounding, coming back up. So we're not putting that heel down and completely putting the weight in there. We're rebounding it, yes? So we go up, kiss, ball, change. 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 Up, humpa da. A nice little rebound. Humpa da. Okay, guys, let's do it to the other side. So we have up. Kiss, ball, change. Up, kiss, ball, change. Up, kiss, ball, change. Up, kiss, ball, change. Up, kiss, ball, change. Oh, wum tika ta. Wum tika ta. Wum tika ta. Wum tika ta. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and you have learned the difference between a kick and a flick. If you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.